Hello students and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy. Today we are going to learn about part 2 of timber roofs and that is closed couple roof. So last time we had seen the classification of timber roofs based on the members used. So timber roofs are classified into single roofs double roofs and triple roofs. Single roofs consist of only rafters as the main member. Double roofs consist of rafters and purlins. And triple roofs consist of rafters, purlins and truss. Now single roofs are classified into couple roof, closed couple roof and collar roof. In part 1 of the presentation we had seen details about the couple roof. In this particular presentation we are going to learn about closed couple roof. So the closed couple roof consists of the following components. Wall plate, rafters, tire members, battens and tiles. Here the additional member which has been introduced is the tire member. So let us try and see the closed couple roof in the drawings. So this is a three dimensional view of a closed couple roof. Let us try to see the components of the closed couple roof in detail. The inclined members here and here are called as the rafters. The member which is seen here at the bottom that is exactly above the wall plate connecting the two rafters is called as the tie member. The tie member is connected to the rafters by simply nailing it. There is no special joint between the tie member and the rafter. On top of the rafters perpendicular to the rafters are the battens and at the top of the rafters you will see that there is a piece which is called as a ridge piece which runs along the entire length of the roof. So closed couple roof consists of rafters supported by the ridge piece and the wall plate. The wall plate which supports the rafters and transfers the load from the rafters to the wall. The ridge piece which connects the rafters at the ridge and prevents lateral displacement of the rafters. And the tie member which connects the base of the rafters. So as you will see in this drawing. The rafters along with the tie member form a triangle as has been shown here and the triangle is a stable figure. Now as a result of the addition of the tie member what happens is that the tendency of the rafters to slide away from each other is arrested. Due to this the overturning of the walls is also prevented. You can see that as the addition of because of the addition of the tire member, the span of the roof has also increased. In case of the couple roof, we had seen that the maximum span was 3.5 meters. While as in this case now the span can be increased up to 5 meters. So that is how the couple roof a closed couple roof is designed. This is the end of the part 2 of the lecture. Thank you.